Hi guys, uh, ZGC Man here, and this is the first tutorial that I'm making on Minecraft. It's going to be how to survive in single player. So I'm just here at the create a new world menu, and I'm here with my friend Eric. Eric. Okay. So I'm going to be starting off here. I just named the world, and I heard that Notch was a good world generator. So you just click uh, create a new world, and it generates a, a map. So just go wait. Okay, so we spawn here on desert beach. Uh, it's kind of laggy right now. Just gotta let it load up. Change the settings a little. Yeah, that's good. So um, the the way to move in this game, you use W, S, A, and D to move around, and jump with the space bar, and then you you move your mouse to move your guy's head. So what you're gonna want to do first is just Find some wood, so you walk up to a tree just like this. And you just hold down the left mouse button and he'll punch the tree apart. So you just keep on collecting wood until you have about uh, 10 to 15 pieces and that, that's a good start. So maybe one more tree, yeah, one more tree will do. Sixteen. Seventeen, that's enough. Alright. Now what you're gonna wanna try to do is you want you're gonna wanna try to find maybe uh some type of mountain or hole where you could take shelter because one, right now it's daylight outside and it's really bright and everything's happy and there's no monsters out but when it turns nighttime and the sun goes down uh, monsters could actually spawn and they want to kill you so you're going to need a shelter for the night and then in the morning you can go back out and explore again so right now I'm just going to try to look for a safe spot to build my uh, first shelter area. Oh, there's a mountain. That looks good. What you're going to want to try to look for is mountains because they're high off the ground and monsters can't really get to them. And yeah, they're better than, they're, they're good for starting, starting out. So I'll just walk up here. Another thing you're going to need before nighttime comes is a, is a light source because you can't really see very well in the dark and yeah, you just need a light source pretty much. Alright, this looks like a good place to start building my house. So what you're going to want to do is click I, which opens your inventory, take your wood, place it in the crafting bar, 4x4 crafting square, and it goes from wood to wooden plank, so that's what you're crafting. So you're going to want to rapidly right click until you can make as many wooden planks as you can. So I'm going to keep on going here. So I have 164 stack, which is the maximum, and 14 stack. So what you want to do is you're going to take the 4 stack and right click, right click, right click, right click, and you'll make a crafting bench or workbench or whatever you want to call it. Then you just want to hit I again, and then you have to, you could scroll with your mouse wheel until you get onto the crafting bench like that. And then you place the crafting bench. Then you right click to open the crafting bench. And now, as you can see, the crafting square is 4x4 four four instead of 2x2. Two two. Oh, no, I mean 3x3 three three instead of 2x2. Two two. So, what you're going to want to do is place the whole stack of 64 and divide it in two by right clicking. And then you'll make sticks. So, you just want to make like around about 20 sticks or whatever, 24. Then you're going to want to make a pickaxe. So, the way you make a pickaxe is you basically drive. You draw the item you want to make, so you put two sticks and three wooden planks on top. 
when you make a pickaxe, a wooden pickaxe. A wooden pickaxe is actually the worst pickaxe you could you can make. So once we found better once we find better materials we can make better stuff. Now I just want to take these sticks, place them here, and make a wooden shovel. Shovels can dig through dirt faster than pickaxes can. And that's a, that's why you're gonna want a wooden pickaxe. So once you get to the rock here, you're gonna want to use your pickaxe. Then you use your shovel for dirt, pickaxe for rock. And you're just gonna want to make like a little uh, I guess hidey hole, if you want to call it that. Doesn't have to be that big. And just make a little more. Okay, that's good. Now what you're going to want to do is take your crafting bench from outside. Keep on hitting it. Back, so you scroll to it with your mouse wheel and place it inside your house. Now you're going to open your crafting table and make a wooden door. So you just do like that. Then you get your wooden door. Then you just, excuse me, you just go outside and place it just like that. And to open the door, you just click. Alright, now since there's not really any coal around, we're, we Coal is the ideal way of making um, of making a light source. You can make a torch, but since there's not much coal here, we're just gonna make um, a, some pieces of charcoal for now. And charcoal also is pretty much like coal, and it, and it's just an easier way of making torches. You're gonna also need a furnace. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna we're gonna need a furnace. Yeah. So what you're gonna want to do is just get a bunch of just raw wood. Don't make it into planks yet, because yeah, just don't make it into planks. So I guess six is good for now. Now you're gonna want to go back up to your hidey hole. <laughs> hidey hole. Yeah, hidey hole. Um, where was it then? I'll make a stairwell up there because it's kind of confusing. There it is. Okay. Now you're gonna want to make charcoal you need to have make a furnace so the way you do that is you take this cobblestone here that you should have and you just go around the perimeter of the crafting spur and that gives you a furnace and just place your furnace next to this now you place your charcoal up here and then you to you have to fuel the furnace with wood so you just do that put it like maybe eight wood in there and that should be enough and now you just gotta wait until, so the wood cooks, I guess you could say, from wood into charcoal, and then you get charcoal. Yay. Alright, now we could just let that cook for a little. Let me just check what time it is. The way you could indicate what time it is is just looking up in the sky. Um, the sun will be, if, the, if it's noon, the sun will be directly in the in the sky, but it's not noon right now. I think it's probably late afternoon in the game. It's pretty late. It's gonna be nighttime soon. All right. So now what you're gonna want to do is, once your furnace is done making charcoal, you're gonna want to take it off, put it in your inventory. One more. Just and there you go. Now you have some charcoal. Now you're gonna want to take your sticks. Put them in your bar. Open up your crafting table. Place your sticks down here in the bottom bar. And then place your charcoal ab above it. And that gives you four torches for every piece of charcoal. So you just rapidly right click until you make as many torches as you can, which is 24. It's not that many, but it's better than nothing. And now to place torches, you just scroll to them with your mouse wheel. And you just right click wherever you want to place it. You can place it on the wall. Place it on the floor if you want. Doesn't really matter. The only thing you can't do is hang them from the ceiling. You can only put them on the wall. So since this is a small space, I probably only need one torch. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you're just gonna want to wait till the sun sets. And I'm probably gonna end this video now because this part's gonna be pretty boring. So I'll start when it's nighttime. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, tune into my next video. Bye.